Kyle here from All Media Reviews. Uh, here to do a quick review. Um, for, talk about the new album from Giant Sky. Put it up here, I think. Um, standing up because I've been dealing with back problems, unfortunately, all week. Organizing the wife's record collection, as you can see briefly. Um, I've done eight out of these 20 uh, crates. I put them in order on the crate, not fully, but... Um, Unfortunately, I don't know how I did it because I wasn't like leaning over a lot, but it doesn't take much with back problems as I've come to learn. Anyway, talking about Giant Sky, this is Giant Sky um, 2 was released a week ago Friday, and I've only listened to it about three times. But um, who is Giant Sky or what is Giant Sky? Giant Sky is the sort of side project um, from this, this Norwegian musician named Erland... I think I might have mentioned this when I talked about the first album a couple of years ago. Erland Ostad Viken, I believe. Anyway, he's from the band Soup. Soup, who are Soup, and I, I'm still like completely guilty in that I've listened to some of their music, but never been fully like won over where I could talk about it and, you know, I know their catalog. But I've the Giant Sky album, the first one, came out the end of 2021. Notes reviews. Shout out to him. Um, did a review of it. I can't remember if it was on his list, but he did a review and he, he called it a little gem. And I mean, I would call it more than just a little gem. It was fantastic, even though it wasn't that long. Very sort of space rock, post rock, textural. I mean, Soup is a post rock band, um, but they don't, they use like, not samples, but a lot of really cool, almost vintage, like 70s kind of, you know, text, guitar textures and synths and stuff like that. Male and female vocals. So, but it was only like 35 minutes long, and I wanted to get the vinyl for the longest time. At the same time, it was early in 2022, Mask of the Phantasms album, debut album, came out. I love that, too, about equally as much, and I just had to justify which one or the other, and I bought that. And I kind of wish I had bought the Giant Sky album, too, but I ended up biting the bullet and buying that, and I bought the new album, too. So talking about Giant Sky 2, the second album, it's about twice as long of an album. It's like 68 minutes um, and I could say there's a lot of things to like about it the same time it definitely is a different kind of album in that it's definitely more methodical and there's more kind of styles and dynamics and tones explored it's still very cinematic um, very vintagey you know they still have the combination of acoustic like um, acoustic and electric, but male and female vocals. But, you know, I mean, the, my favorite track, if I chose one, my go-to at this point, it's 13 tracks, is the closing track, Seeds. That, there's a little trailer on the band campaign, and this album is not on, neither of the, well, some of, there's like one of the songs, the, the second track, Imposter, is on Spotify, but the rest of it is not. The first album, the Giant Sky 1, self-titled Giant Sky. I don't think that's on Spotify either. I think it, parts of it are. I, I can't. I could be wrong, but anyway. Um, I mean, there's there's great piano, great flute. It still has a lot of dreamy elements. Dark, spacey, like, you know, like space rock. Um, but I was talking about Seeds, the closing track. That song reminds me of like something out of a movie, especially the out, the outro, the last couple of minutes. And the little video they have on the Bandcamp page shows that. It shows like things going from winter to spring, you know, springing up, life happening, that kind of thing. Um, kind of also reminds me of a few different bands like Mew and Ocean Size. Um, who's the other one? I mean, it's Archive, Pure Reason Revolution. It's kind of in that vein. It's, you know, astral folk, you know, um... You know, the rest of it is, it is good. I mean, there's some longer tracks. I Am The Night has some great moments, um, but it's 10 minutes and 20 seconds. Um, I think, I, I don't know, it's it's one of those albums where I find nothing on it that I don't like. There's not a track on here that I need to just, like, I feel like is just, I, I don't need to hear again. I want to continue to hear it. At the same time, there's not, I don't think the, I think the flow of the first record is better but you know i'm still getting to know this record given that it's um just a, a week old and it's it's 68 minutes um 
But I think, you know, the, the response was so good from the first album that Erlen decided, I can put out a longer record. He spent two years making it. Um, you know, I don't know whether Giant Sky is going to become more of the focus over Soup or, you know, this is just sort of a, a short-term thing, you know. I don't know. Um, I, I would think at least given that it's his project, his own baby, rather than I think Soup is a band, that he has more... He enjoys more of the creative control with it. But, um, yeah, I mean, I would say it's a pretty big thumbs up. I mean, you know, other highlights on the album. Speak Through Walls, Spacefarer, um, you know, The Present, Curbing Lights, those little movements, you know, Birds with Borders. Um, I think the last maybe 25, 30 minutes of it, I, I, I got... You know, I kind of, I retain that. That's become, becomes more memorable, more um, uplifting, kind of soothing. That was the thing is, I've kind of been dealing with these back problems. I was listening to, I want to say I Am The Night, and I got this, like, totally relaxing, it's almost, not meditative music, but in a way it's, like, new agey in some ways. You know, space rock can be that way, because it's more about flow and mood and atmosphere rather than having these, these hooks or something like that. Um, but at the same time, it's not... Like some music, completely like a, post, a lot of post rock and new age or whatever, even some jazz, I find boring. I just don't, you know, like the first Pat Metheny album. I don't, I don't get engaged by it. The first album, I totally got engaged by. This album, I'm for the most part still being engaged by it. So, um, you know, we got the end of the year stuff happening, and I guess I have another announcement I made a few, earlier this week that I'm probably going to wait a week and a half to do my end of the year. I, maybe a little bit longer because I think we're gonna do we're gonna try to do a collaborative video in a couple weeks on the trying to make it on the on Friday a couple weeks from today 22nd so maybe waiting a, a little bit while longer to do the end of the year stuff for 2023 which might depending on how much more revisiting I do might allow me to get some of those albums of the year series in next week or you know so but anyway that's about it for Giant Sky I'll leave a link in the description. Have you heard the record? Do you like space rock? Like I said, I mean, references could be stuff like Puri's Revolution and Mew and Archive. And, you know, they have a very, a lot of the best things about their sound is I love the whole vintage 70s sounding synths and textures. It's, they're very much about the cool textures. Dredge, I'm wearing the new shirt from them. Kind of like that in a way. So, but anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and we'll see you next time.